when the recovery crew came out. They opened the spacecraft. Everyone was dead. In the grand theater of the cosmos, humanity has achieved astounding feats. We've touched the moon's surface, sent rovers to explore distant planets, and launched telescopes that have unveiled the universe's most profound mysteries. These are the monumental successes that have expanded our horizons and reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. But in our relentless quest to reach the stars, we've also faced gut-wrenching tragedies that have left an indelible mark on the history of space exploration. So, get ready to be inspired, emotionally touched, and possibly even moved to tears as we journey through the most successful yet worst disasters that the world of space exploration has ever seen. The Soyuz 11 Race Against Time Space, a place that both excites our curiosity and sends shivers down our spines, is an endless expanse filled with countless mysteries. The universe stretches far beyond our imagination, concealing secrets that have yet to be unveiled. It was this vast unknown that compelled humans to embark on the grand adventure of space exploration. Let's rewind to the 1970s, a time when the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a thrilling competition known as the Space Race. Tension and excitement gripped the world as these two superpowers vied for supremacy in the cosmos. In the midst of this intense rivalry, something extraordinary emerged, the Soyuz 11 mission. This mission was not just another space endeavor, it was a race against time. In those days, tasks that would ordinarily demand years of meticulous research were thrust into a whirlwind of urgency. Imagine the brilliant minds of scientists and engineers working tirelessly, driven by an unyielding determination to achieve their goals swiftly. Every second counted as they pushed the boundaries of technology and human capability. The Soyuz 11 mission embodied this spirit of haste. It was a daring venture into the unknown, a bid to conquer the cosmos in record time. The stakes were high, and the world watched with bated breath as these intrepid astronauts embarked on their journey, ready to brave the mysteries and perils of the cosmos. Space, at once captivating and terrifying, was the ultimate frontier. In this race against time, the Soyuz 11 mission became a symbol of human ingenuity, determination, and the unquenchable thirst for knowledge that drives us to explore the cosmos. In the early 1960s, the Soviet Union initiated the pioneering Soyuz program, marking the commencement of an ambitious foray into the cosmos. This monumental undertaking possessed a singular, audacious objective, to propel humanity into the realms of space, pushing the limits of our exploration further than ever before. At the core of this mission lay the remarkable Soyuz spacecraft, a technological marvel meticulously engineered to transport humans into uncharted territories. Initially conceived as the linchpin of an audacious lunar landing project, the Soviets harbored aspirations of planting their flag on the lunar surface. While this dream may have sounded fantastical at the time, the scientists and visionaries spearheading the program exuded unwavering confidence. They firmly believed that their daring blueprint could, against all odds, be transformed into reality, with a Soviet cosmonaut taking that historic stride onto the lunar terrain. Soyuz 11's Last-Minute Crew Swap The Soyuz program followed in the footsteps of two earlier missions, Vostok and Voskhod. The Vostok program made history with Yuri Gagarin's pioneering human spaceflight in 1961. Soon after, the Voskhod program took flight, achieving multi-crew missions and building upon the knowledge gained from its predecessors. The Soyuz program marked the third generation of human spaceflight endeavors within the Soviet space program, showing that they were indeed on the right trajectory all along. Yet reaching the moon was no simple feat. The selection of the Soyuz 11 crew was a meticulous process. Three exceptional astronauts, Alexei Leonov, Valery Kubasov and Pyotr Kolodin earned their seats on this historic mission. Their journey began with rigorous training starting in early March 1971, spanning several months. During this period, they absorbed an arsenal of knowledge and honed their skills to ensure their safety and effectiveness in the unforgiving space environment. Physical conditioning was paramount. Their muscles needed to be robust, and their hearts had to remain healthy. Space demanded much of their bodies, and they couldn't afford any weaknesses. 
Additionally, comprehensive medical examinations scrutinized every inch of their health. Even x-rays were employed to leave no stone unturned. Only those in optimal condition would be entrusted with this historic mission. After all, they were on the brink of becoming a part of history themselves, and the mission allowed no room for error. However, it was during this phase of meticulous preparation that the first unexpected challenge arose. Just four days before the grand launch, a remarkable twist unfolded during a medical x-ray assessment. A hushed murmur emerged from the crisp white halls of the medical facility as they contemplated the possibility of Kabasov, the designated spacefarer, carrying an unexpected passenger, tuberculosis. A prudent air swept through, and in harmony with the protocols etched in the mission's fabric, the principal crew yielded their places to the prepared understudies. In a poetic exchange of roles, the reins of cosmic exploration shifted. Georgi Dobra, a name that resonated with promise, along with the tenacious Vladislav Volkov and the spirited Viktor Patsayev, stepped into the spotlight as the new torchbearers of the mission. With a rapid tempo, they delved into a comprehensive immersion in training, digesting every facet of the impending voyage. A mere four days were all it took, as if the universe itself conspired to expedite their readiness. Then, like a crescendo building to its zenith, the day dawned. This rocket vanished 55 years ago, but now suddenly lands with something terrifying. June 6, 1971, etched its place in history as a cluster of hearts pounded in anticipation. The Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan stood as a launch pad, a cradle for dreams bound for the cosmos. The Soyuz spacecraft stood poised, a vessel of aspirations ready to unfurl its wings. Amidst held breaths and tension woven into the air, the moment of truth arrived. A collective gaze converged on the launch pad, witnessing a feat of human ambition and engineering marvel. With an explosive exhalation, the spacecraft embarked on its odyssey. A gasp met surprise as the liftoff unfolded seamlessly, a testament to human resolve surmounting gravity's grasp. Their trajectory was etched with purpose, to reach Salyut 1, the pioneer of space habitats, orbiting serenely in the celestial sea. The docking was a ballet of precision, a cosmic choreography that saw the spacecraft embracing the station with finesse. A chapter in human history unfolded as they ventured into the microgravity confines, ready to inscribe their names among the stars. Yet this wasn't a tale of idleness. For a lunar month, they lived as cosmic pioneers, not content with mere existence. They orchestrated experiments, some intricate, plumbing the depths of science, while others, a carnival of curiosity that painted weightless brushstrokes in the void. Their endeavors resonated not only among the cosmos, but reverberated through the channels of live broadcasts, knitting together hearts across continents. As the days drew to a close and Earth's embrace beckoned once more, humanity celebrated the return of these modern explorers. The splendor of their mission wasn't just in the absence of mishaps, but in the symphony of the human spirit playing out against the vast backdrop of the universe. And so their journey found its zenith, not just in the scientific records, but in the hearts of all who watched them paint the canvas of space with their daring and dreams. One of the most memorable experiments they conducted centered on Chinese cabbage and bulb onions. While it may appear to be an unusual choice, it held significant importance. These pioneers in human space exploration had a primary goal, to unravel the mysteries of how various biological processes, such as plant growth, functioned in the unique environment of space. Their investigation into plant growth in microgravity was crucial for several compelling reasons. Foremost among them was their mission to assess the potential of converting space into a viable agricultural domain. Understanding how plants adapt to the absence of Earth's gravitational force yielded a wealth of insights. These insights could potentially shape the framework for establishing sustainable, self-sustaining food production systems during prolonged journeys in future space missions, including ambitious voyages to Mars or the unexplored frontiers of deep space. Astronauts tending to thrive in cabbage and onion gardens in the weightless cosmos were laying the groundwork for future cosmic harvests. This seemingly unconventional experiment was, in reality, a pivotal stride toward securing humanity's presence beyond our home planet. Navigating the Alien World of Microgravity 
In the unique realm of microgravity, where gravitational forces are nearly non-existent, plants inhabit a world significantly different from Earth's familiar environment. This absence of a reliable gravitational pull presents a multitude of challenges for these plant denizens. Consider for a moment the perspective of a plant in this topsy-turvy setting. There is no solid ground upon which to anchor one's roots, no gravitational assistance in acquiring essential nutrients and water, and a profound lack of orientation as to what constitutes up or down. Even the seemingly straightforward process of growing towards a light source becomes an extraordinary endeavor. However, this narrative doesn't conclude there. Microgravity not only disrupts the usual course of plant growth, but subjects them to substantial stress as well. This stress profoundly affects their hormone production, leading to irregular growth patterns and overall health deterioration. It's akin to being in a perpetual state of uncertainty, never fully comprehending one's surroundings, reminiscent of intrepid astronauts aboard a spacecraft. These astronauts are diligently conducting an experiment focused on nurturing Chinese cabbage and bulb onions in space. Their efforts are not merely a whimsical foray into space-based horticulture. They are on a mission to unravel the enigmas surrounding how microgravity influences these plants. You might wonder why Chinese cabbage and bulb onions were chosen for this endeavor. These selections were made with careful consideration for their rapid growth and adaptability to confined spaces, making them the botanical stars of the astronaut community. However, why all the emphasis on cultivating these vegetables in space? It transcends the role of mere space gardening. The research being conducted holds pivotal significance for the future of space exploration, particularly for astronauts embarking on extended missions to destinations like Mars and beyond. Given the impossibility of carrying a lifelong supply of provisions, these astronauts will need to cultivate their sustenance. Understanding the behavioral patterns of plants in microgravity essentially provides a blueprint for survival during those arduous journeys. Consequently, these unassuming vegetables are pioneering the path toward a future in which astronauts can save our fresh homegrown produce amidst the celestial expanse. It's akin to the transformation of science fiction into a delectable reality. The Extraordinary Challenge of Growing Vegetables in Space Throughout the mission, the crew embarked on a captivating journey of horticultural exploration. They took on the role of meticulous gardeners in the cosmos, tending to their leafy charges with unwavering dedication. With each passing day, they donned their scientist hats, closely observing the verdant life forms they had nurtured in the heart of microgravity. Their duties extended beyond mere observation. They meticulously documented the plant's progress, capturing an intricate web of data. This data was a treasure trove, brimming with insights into the plant's growth patterns, the graceful emergence of delicate leaves, and the tenacious development of their roots. These factors were the vital threads that wove the story of botanical life in outer space. The plants in space became an enigmatic muse, their growth shaped by an environment devoid of Earth's familiar gravitational pull. To comprehend their response to this celestial dance, the crew meticulously compared their celestial charges to control samples rooted firmly on Earth. These samples were like botanical mirror images, revealing the secrets of adaptation to microgravity. The significance of these experiments reached far beyond the confines of space. Their findings held the potential to revolutionize our understanding of agriculture and environmental research back on our home planet. The ability to decipher how plants adapt and thrive in the weightless realms of space could yield invaluable insights for controlled environment agriculture, futuristic greenhouses, and the burgeoning world of vertical farming. In these earthly realms, gravity would no longer reign supreme in the kingdom of plant growth. Instead, the controlled environment would become the conductor of nature's orchestra, choreographing the flourishing dance of botanical life. As the crew continued their mission, they nurtured not only plants but also the seeds of knowledge that had the power to transform the way we interact with our own planet's flora. The Cosmic Thermometer Exploring the cosmos aboard Soyuz 11 was a monumental mission, and its importance extended far beyond what initially met the eye. One of the remarkable endeavors carried out by the crew was the meticulous capture of spectrograms from distant stars. Now, what exactly is spectroscopy, you might ask? 
Well, it's a rather powerful technique that involves breaking down the light emitted or reflected by celestial objects into its constituent colors, much like a rainbow after a rainstorm. This process creates a unique visual signature known as a spectrum. But why is this so significant, you wonder? These spectral snapshots offer astronomers a treasure trove of knowledge about the stars. They unveil secrets about their fundamental qualities and makeup. Imagine looking at a star through a cosmic prism, and it tells you everything from its temperature and chemical composition to its brightness and movement. The temperature of a star, for instance, is like a cosmic thermometer. Hotter stars blaze with intense energy, emitting shorter wavelengths of light, giving them a bluish hue. Cooler stars, on the other hand, release more energy in the form of longer wavelengths, resulting in a redder appearance. By studying these spectral colors, astronomers can accurately estimate a star's surface temperature. Now, classifying stars used to be quite a celestial puzzle. Earthbound observations made it challenging to categorize stars accurately. But thanks to the diligent work of the Soyuz 11 crew, who gathered these precious spectral data from space, we gained the ability to neatly arrange stars into various spectral types based on their unique spectral fingerprints. This cosmic revelation, facilitated by stellar spectroscopy, was a giant leap forward in our understanding of the universe. It unlocked the secrets of stellar evolution, enabling us to decipher the life stories of stars and offered unparalleled insights into the universe's structure and dynamics. In essence, Soyuz 11's stellar spectroscopy mission was akin to adding an entire chapter to the cosmic narrative, shedding light on the intricacies of the celestial world, in the intricacies of the celestial world. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In a poignant snapshot of history, this image encapsulates a heart-wrenching moment in which the Soyuz 11 spacecraft returned to Earth, carrying with it three courageous cosmonauts who had ventured into the vast expanse of space. Having journeyed a great distance and gazed upon the stars from close quarters, their return was anticipated with mixed emotions. However, when the Soyuz 11 touched down, it wasn't met with jubilant celebrations, but instead, a profound and somber silence that seemed to bear the weight of the entire world. As the spacecraft's hatch swung open, the grim reality came into focus. An unimaginable scene of sorrow unfolded. Three valiant cosmonauts, the heroes of the skies, were now lifeless. Their journey had ended, not with a triumphant return, but with a heart-wrenching tragedy. How could this happen? What went wrong in those final moments? These are questions that linger in the air, haunting us. As we look at this image, we can't help but wonder about the courage of these cosmonauts. They ventured where few have gone before, exploring the mysteries of the universe. They dared to dream, and they paid the ultimate price. This image is a stark reminder of the risks and challenges of space exploration. It makes us ask ourselves, is the pursuit of the unknown worth such sacrifices? How far are we willing to go in the name of discovery? In this one haunting image, we are confronted with the fragility of human life and the boundless curiosity that drives us to explore. It's a moment that will forever be etched in our hearts, a moment that reminds us of the price we sometimes pay in our quest to touch the stars. Let us know what you think about what we just showed you. Decrypting Stars Through Spectroscopy Spectroscopy helps us learn about stars' chemicals. Each element in a star makes special light, shown as lines in a spectrum. These lines tell us what's in the star's air. This helps us understand elements in space and how stars form and change. The lines also tell us how bright a star is. Brightness helps find how far a star is and where it fits on the Hertzsprung-Russell chart, which shows how stars change. The Doppler effect, seen in lines, shows a star's motion. Lines move to red when a star goes away and to blue when it comes close. This helps find a star's speed and its place in our galaxy. Space study is not just about space. Soyuz 11 took pictures of snow and ice by the Volga River. This simple task gave data about the local climate. It helped track seasons, rain, and temperature changes. It also showed weather like snowstorms and ice storms. Such data helps forecast weather and track climate shifts. The study also looked at how cold affects plants and animals. Space Tech took wide-area photos of the River Volga's banks. 
These pictures were matched with old records and satellite images to track snow and ice changes. This helps watch climate and environmental shifts. But remember, space life had challenges. The Dramatic Saga of Soyuz 11 at Mute 1 Space Station When the Soyuz 11 crew arrived at the Mute 1 Space Station, they encountered an immediate and formidable challenge. The station's atmosphere was marred by smoke and scorching due to a malfunction in the ventilation system. However, they demonstrated resilience by promptly addressing the issue, replacing the faulty component, and taking refuge within their Soyuz spacecraft until the station's air quality was restored, ensuring the safety of their mission. Initial expectations were for smooth progress as they delved into a series of experiments that garnered substantial public attention, being broadcast on television. These experiments became the focal point of discussions during that period, signifying their significance. Yet, on the 11th day of their mission, an unforeseen and alarming incident unfolded when a fire erupted within the station, jeopardizing the crew's safety. Due to the limited confines of the station, mission planners faced the daunting prospect of evacuating the astronauts for their well-being. This necessitated urgent action, and fortunately, the fire was extinguished before it could engulf the entire craft. Compounding the situation, the crew's much-anticipated plan to witness an N-1 rocket launch during their mission had to be postponed. This unexpected turn of events left them uncertain about the subsequent course of their mission. During their mission, the crew also made a fascinating observation regarding the utilization of the exercise treadmill aboard the space station. As part of their daily routine, they were mandated to engage in treadmill exercises twice daily for the sake of their physical well-being. Given the extensive periods spent confined to their seats in a zero-gravity environment, it was initially believed that the force of their feet striking the treadmill would have negligible impact on the overall environment. However, it subsequently came to light that the entire spacecraft would experience substantial vibrations whenever they used the treadmill, thereby jeopardizing the efficacy of their physical activity regimen. Nonetheless, the crew maintained optimism as they had arrived in excellent health and hoped to remain so throughout the mission. One of the factors that boosted their morale during this time was Viktor Patsayev, one of the crew members, who had the exceptional privilege of being the first person to celebrate a birthday in space. To commemorate this remarkable event, Patsayev's fellow crewmates decided to surprise him with a special birthday meal in the confined and weightless environment of the space station. Despite the challenges, they successfully assembled a delightful menu for this extraordinary space's birthday, featuring veal, cookies, and blackberry juice. This heartwarming gesture remains one of the most touching moments in the history of space exploration. However, while everyone celebrated Victor's birthday with great enthusiasm, little did they know that it would also mark his final one. The Cosmonauts' Final Frontier On June 29, 1971, the three cosmonauts aboard the Soyuz 11 spacecraft commenced the conclusion of their mission at the Salyut 1 space station. They adeptly gathered scientific samples, films, tapes, and vital equipment from the station. Subsequently, these materials were meticulously transferred into the Soyuz 11 in readiness for their voyage back to Earth. After skillfully maneuvering the spacecraft away from Salyut 1, the cosmonauts safely rendezvoused with their ferry craft for a successful return. The undocking procedure from Salyut 1 took place at 1828 GMT. Following undocking, Soyuz 11 remained in close orbital proximity to the space station briefly. Later, at 2235 GMT, a retro-firing man oeuvre was executed to align the spacecraft for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. This re-entry process was initiated around 2247 GMT. Notably, both the work compartment and the service module were intentionally jettisoned as integral steps during re-entry. The comprehensive flight duration for the cosmonaut crew aboard Soyuz 11 total led 570.22 hours. This period encompassed a commendable achievement of completing 383 orbits. The mission proceeded as planned until an unforeseen and concerning event unfolded during re-entry. Precisely during the separation of the work compartment, a critical radio communication interruption occurred. This interruption deviated from the anticipated norm, 
which typically involves an ionospheric blackout that might disrupt communications during the re-entry phase. Approximately 25 minutes later, at 23 hours, 16 minutes, and 52 seconds GMT, the Soyuz 11 mission executed a successful landing in Kazakhstan, employing its automated systems. The landing site was located roughly 90 kilometers southwest of Karajal. The descent occurred without any observable issues, and the prevailing sentiment at the time was one of celebration. All involved were overjoyed that the crew had, at long last, returned home following a momentous mission. In the moments just before communication was lost, cosmonaut Volkov made a unique request. He sought a supply of cognac, a customary gift bestowed upon returning astronauts to be awaiting them at the landing site. This request, albeit somewhat of an inside joke, was meticulously honored, underscoring the mission's significance. Yet elation swiftly gave way to shock and dismay when the ground crew opened the capsule. Inside, they encountered all three cosmonauts lifeless. Karim Karimov, the chair of the State Commission, struggled to find words to convey this tragic discovery. Nevertheless, he was obliged to make an official announcement as the world anxiously awaited news of the returning astronauts. Externally, the capsule exhibited no signs of damage. Attempts to rouse a response by knocking on its side proved futile. Upon opening the hatch, all three astronauts were discovered seated, unresponsive, displaying a dark blue hue on their faces and exhibiting traces of blood originating from their noses and ears. They were extricated from the descent module, but it became evident that intervention was too late. While Dobrovolsky still retained some warmth, medical professionals endeavored artificial respiration, though their reports confirmed that the cause of death was indeed suffocation. How a seal sealed the fate of Soyuz 11. Following a comprehensive series of post-mortem examinations, it became evident that the tragic demise of the cosmonauts aboard Soyuz 11 was due to asphyxiation. The investigation unveiled a malfunction in a critical breathing ventilation valve situated between the orbital module and the descent module. This malfunction occurred precisely 12 minutes and 3 seconds after the retro-fire event. The intended design was for explosive bolts to secure the two modules together sequentially during separation. However, a significant failure resulted in the simultaneous activation of these explosive bolts. This, in turn, caused the pressure equalization valve's internal mechanism to dislodge a seal that was typically discarded later in the process. Remarkably, this seemingly minor seal played a crucial role in automatically regulating cabin pressure. Tragically, this valve opened at an altitude of 104 miles, leading to a swift and fatal loss of cabin pressure in less than a minute. The rapidity of this pressure drop left the cosmonauts with scant time to react. Data from the flight recorder's biomedical sensors on one of the cosmonauts revealed that cardiac arrest occurred within a mere 40 seconds of the pressure loss. Within 15 minutes and 35 seconds after retrofire, the cabin's pressure had plummeted to zero, a level that persisted until the capsule entered Earth's atmosphere. During the investigation, the body of cosmonaut Patsayev was discovered near the malfunctioning valve. This discovery strongly suggests that he may have been attempting to close or obstruct the valve at the moment he lost consciousness. Unveiling the Silent Killer a comprehensive investigation delved deeply into every aspect and mechanism of the Soyuz 11 spacecraft in order to uncover any factors contributing to the tragic accident. The results of this inquiry, however, rapidly pointed to a grim conclusion. Asphyxiation was the primary cause of the cosmonauts' demise. The autopsy procedures conducted at Berdenko Military Hospital yielded invaluable insights into the mysterious deaths of the astronauts aboard Soyuz 11. The most significant revelation was that they perished due to hemorrhaging in the blood vessels of their brains. In addition, there were lesser but still noticeable instances of bleeding beneath their skin, in their inner ears, and within their nasal passages. These findings remarkably aligned with the expected consequences of exposure to the unforgiving vacuum of space. Here's how it happened. When the cosmonauts were exposed to the vacuum, it triggered the release of oxygen and nitrogen in their bloodstreams. This release created bubbles within their blood, akin to the bubbles formed when opening a soda can. 
Regrettably, these bubbles caused severe ruptures in their blood vessels, particularly in their brains. One of the most shocking discoveries during the autopsies was the presence of high levels of lactic acid in the cosmonauts' blood. Lactic acid is an indicator of insufficient oxygen supply to the mitochondria, the cell's energy factories. This deficiency could be attributed to various factors, including hypoxemia, poor blood circulation resulting from decompression, or a combination of both. Based on the available evidence, it is plausible to infer that the cosmonauts may have remained conscious for nearly 40 agonizing seconds after the decompression was initiated. However, the dire consequences of oxygen deprivation swiftly overcame them. Within a mere 20 seconds or less, they would have become incapacitated. In a tragedy of this nature, even 20 seconds can stretch out into what must have felt like an excruciating eternity, ultimately costing them their lives. Alexei Leonov, initially designated as the commander of Soyuz 11, possessed a profound understanding of the intricacies of spaceflight. His experience and training led him to devise a critical procedure, manually closing the valves between the orbital and descent modules. This innovative approach emerged during his exhaustive sessions in the Soyuz simulator. Leonov harbored reservations about relying solely on the automatic closure mechanism, revealing his deep commitment to safety. However, a fateful deviation occurred. The crew regrettably chose not to heed Leonov's counsel, neglecting to manually seal the valves. This decision would prove to be a pivotal factor in the tragic outcome that followed. In the aftermath of the mission, Leonov personally attempted to execute this task. Astonishingly, it took nearly a full minute to accomplish. This revelation underscored the dire urgency of emergency situations in space when the spacecraft's life-sustaining atmosphere is rapidly dissipating into the void. The aftermath of this disaster revealed a sobering reality about the Soviet response. State-controlled media initially sought to downplay the tragedy, emphasizing the crew's accomplishments during their tenure aboard Salyut 1, the space station they visited. In a move shrouded in secrecy, the exact cause of the cosmonauts' deaths remained undisclosed to the public for nearly two years. When the truth was finally revealed, it sent shockwaves throughout space exploration. The undisclosed cause of death was a colossal revelation that would forever leave an indelible mark on the history of space exploration. Do you believe that taking risks is an inherent part of space exploration, even if it leads to disasters? Share your thoughts in the comments.